The Origins of Sein The story of Sein began in South America. Anglican Christians of the South American Mission Society, SANS, had been working for 120 years with tribal people in northern Argentina, Paraguay and Chile. In the 1960s they were blessed by growth. New believers and new churches emerged every year. There was also a strategic move into nearby cities. The problem was, who would lead the new churches? There were no ordained native pastors, and there was no established training program. None of our local leaders could dream of going to a seminary to study. It was impossible because of the expense, the academic level, and the impracticality. They were working people who needed to feed their families. The local Christians needed a different way of training, in their context and for their context. The decision was made to use TEE, Theological Education by Extension, a training model developed in Guatemala, which was accessible, applicable and affordable. The solution was, Take the training to the churches. So, a team of SAMS missionaries was established to create courses for the local situation and to field test the results. The SEAN team was led by my father, Tony Barrett. The SEAN team members worked from their homes. In fact, we continue to do so to this day. And here I am with my father discussing some situation that we had to sort out on paper of one of the courses. Our SEAN team's equipment was very basic. Everything was done by hand. Early results may look amateur, but the contents were acclaimed by all. SEAN was based on three basic principles. The courses had to be simple. In traditional theological education, the students have to start at a high educational level. So someone commented that theological education is like a fireman's ladder with the bottom ten rungs missing. Sean set out to add those missing rungs from the bottom up. The courses also had to be biblical. Sean would prepare a basic biblical cake including the ingredients that all Bible-believing Christians have in common. So in this way, different denominations could add their own icing according to their particular emphasis. So we have Anglicans, Baptists, Brethren, Lutherans, Pentecostals, Presbyterians and many more using Sean courses worldwide. The courses also had to be practical and therefore transformational. Sean emphasizes obedience to God and practical application. So Sean courses help to transform personal life, community life and mission. Sean courses spread around the world, not because Sean is a large organization, but because people saw how the Lord used the courses and so wanted to use them in their own countries. The breakthrough for expansion did not come by Sean selling courses to partners, but by giving licenses to partners so they could translate, produce and distribute courses locally. To date we have been requested for translations of 118 languages, of which now we have 66 confirmed translations. Now Sean courses are used in 100 plus countries and many languages. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. The Lord is raising up more workers. Maybe one of them is you.